another ASMR gaming video. Let me tell you, I am so happy to hear that you guys actually really enjoyed Tuesday's video, the Pokemon Fire Red video that I put out. I was a little nervous about it just because typically when I upload altered games, they don't do very well on the channel. Um, if it's not, you know, something that's, you know, popping like in the, uh, you know, in the cycle of games, it, it typically does not go very well view-wise and, like, feedback-wise, but you guys, the collection, man, you guys actually really loved it, so I'm gonna keep it going as long as you guys like to see it. That's how I do all my series, is, uh, I, you know, I upload it, and as long as you guys are supportive and, you know, give me good feedback and want to see more, then I will gladly, gladly put out more of those videos. So, we have part two of our Pokemon Fire Red series today. Pokemon, man, it is popping. It really is popping in the, uh, in the YouTube space. So, uh, let's, uh, let's contribute ourselves to the Pokemon movement of 2020 and play a little bit more of ASMR Pokemon Fire Red. My goal in this video is to get past the first uh, gym badge, which would be the Rock Gym facing good old Brock uh, in Pewter City, I believe it is. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. But before I get into it, I want to say if you're not currently subscribed, I know I say this every single video, please hit that subscribe button, appreciate you guys so much, and I will see you in the gameplay. Alright, so when we left off, we were here in the Viridian Forest. Uh, this was a, a pretty solid stopping point. Before we continue, I want to go ahead and show off the party that we have, and you will probably notice uh, we have leveled up. Mankey and Charmander just a tad. Uh, unfortunately, I I started recording uh, this gameplay and then realized that the game volume was turned up all the way, so it was super super loud Pokemon music, and I did not want that, so uh, I had to start it over. Luckily, I was only like five minutes in, so no harm done. But uh, we did gain a couple levels on Charmander and Mankey. So let's just go ahead and head this way. We actually fought this guy here and this guy up here. Let's try and just continue forward, though. What's this? Antidote. Oh. That will help with uh, poisons. Should we, should, we, should we just... I mean, do we just... All right, let's just skip by him. We'll go this way. And again, I'm going to keep doing that fast-forward trick unless you guys have a problem with it. If you guys say it's, like, too distracting or, like, not relaxing in the slightest, then I won't do it anymore. But go Charmander, go Charmander, go. We got a hardened, a hardened Metapod. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I using Scratch? Oof. I'm dumb. Metapod was so annoying back in the day. Back in the day. Level 12. I think we get... We should be getting a new attack soon. I think it might be at level 12, actually. Nope. Not level 12. Uh, so, you OG... Uh, Pokemon players out there know that Viridian Forest is one of the only places where you can catch Pikachu. So, uh, please, if you haven't already, like the video. We can get some good luck here on potentially catching a Pikachu. I definitely want, I, I'm gonna need one since, you know, it is, it is a Pokemon series where we're trying to catch every single Pokemon in the game, so... <laughs> Fingers crossed there. I think our Mankey should probably be able to fend for himself now. So maybe we leave Mankey in. It's a Weedle. Level 4. Yeah, our Mankey. 
Loki is level five. I tell you what, let's do like, let's do like a couple more levels, it, like at least one. We want to be a couple levels ahead of our competition. Go ahead and use Ember. Get Weedle out of the way. And we will just continue forward. 14 XP. What you got? He's facing the other way. He doesn't want none. Come on. Let me see that Pikachu. Let me see that Pikachu. This guy's unavoidable. So we'll go ahead and fight our boy, Bug Catcher Sammy. <laughs> He's got one Weedle and it's level nine. Wow. Uh, this would be a huge win. Let's try. Oh, well, he uses Poison Sting right off the bat. I was going to say, hopefully. Dang it, and I was poisoned. I was going to say, hopefully, he just, like, uses String Shot over and over again. I could maybe get a free, free, uh, knock on this, this Weedle here. But that would have been really big for Mankey. Another Poison Sting just out here poisoning everybody. But we're just going to one-hit you. One-hit KO. Super effective. Get out of my face, Weedle. Get out of my face. Mankey grows to level 6. Learned low kick. That's really, really good. I believe that is the move that uh, uses the opponent's weight against it. And since we're going to be fighting the rock gym soon. Let's see here. Low kick. Yeah, a low tripping kick that inflicts more damage on heavier foes. That is massive. Absolutely massive. Whoops. Be persistent on where I look for Pokemon. Yes, I know. I know. I think I'm going to have to find that Pikachu like off camera probably. <laughs> Just because I know it takes a while to find. It's like a something like a less than a 5% chance you like actually run into Pikachu in that forest. So let's go up here and go ahead and heal up right quick. some more 
farming. And you know what? I'm dumb. If we're going to be just like trying to level up our Pokemon, we should go back to Viridian Forest and try and find that, that Pikachu. Wait. Wait, I haven't got a Weedle yet. I haven't got a Weedle yet. I'm so dumb. Okay. We have a Caterpie, but no Weedle. We must capture a Weedle for our science purposes. Oh my gosh. Kakuna. We could just go ahead and catch Kakuna, but I think we're just gonna level up Weedle and Caterpie. Go ahead and hit that. There it is. There's a Weedle. There's a Weedle. Let's just try and catch it outright. No damage. Just throw a Pokeball at it and see if we catch it. And we do. Look at that. Boom. Weedle is added. One foot tall. 7.1 pounds. Wait, there's no way. It's like one foot tall. It's like so tiny. Whatever. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Kakuna. Nope. This will be some good XP, though. Good XP. There. Metal Claw. So we got Metal Claw. Let's do three more encounters after this. So, uh, one. Boom. Look at that. On our second try. After I said, after the next three encounters. Okay, let's throw Mankey out there. We're gonna have to, I don't wanna, we're gonna have to scratch it. Let's just like scratch it once or maybe even twice with Mankey and then it should be an easy catch at that point. But it looks like we're gonna get Pikachu here. Come on. Could potentially be our third party Pokemon. I, I don't count anybody else that I have in my party. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna put him in the PC. Let's do one more scratch. Uh-oh. Used Thundershock. Didn't really hurt all that much. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. We're not going to fast forward this one. We're going to do this a little bit more naturally. We get one shake, two shakes, three shakes. Oh, what? Yo. Okay, I was not expecting that. Let's scratch it one more time, I think. You know what? No, I'm, I'm scared I'm going to kill it. I'm scared I'm going to knock it out, so we're going to do another Pokeball, fingers crossed, one, no, what the heck, why is this Pikachu so hard to catch, it's not even like, well, let's do, let's do one more scratch, I guess, fingers crossed, we don't do too much damage, I should have swapped out, I'm dumb, please just be paralyzed, don't be able to attack. Okay, we're good. Oh. Pokeball. This this has got to be a guaranteed catch here. Surely. One, two, three. Caught. Boom. Just like that. We have got ourselves a Pikachu. Nice. Nice. Has small electric sacks on both its cheeks. If threatened, it loses electric Loses electric charges from the sacks. Okay. Interesting. Didn't realize those were sacks. <laughs> the more you know about Pokemon. Alright. Let's go to the Pokemon Center and replace one of our party Pokemon with Pikachu. Matter of fact, Let's just go ahead and deposit our red attack because we're not going to use them. Our Sparrow, not going to use them. Pidgey and Caterpie all can get deposited and then we'll go ahead and make a withdrawal and we'll get our Pikachu out. So these Pokemon here are definitely like super basic and I usually don't even use, I, I usually don't even use like a Pikachu or a Mankey just because they're like introduced so early on, I like to kind of have, 
you know, later game Pokemon that I can, uh, I don't know, kind of be a little bit more rare, a little bit more different. I used to hate, 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 hate how there was Pokemon that you could only obtain by trading. That was the dumbest thing ever. I hated it with a passion. Alright, so let's actually start with Mankey here. This is a good opportunity to level Mankey up uh, maybe a couple levels. But let's go into the gym, and we're actually, you can skip past this trainer, but we're actually going to fight this trainer because I want the experience uh, that Mankey could potentially get from Camper Liam sent out Geodude, which Geodude is going to be a heavier Pokemon, so we're going to use that low kick, which fighting is actually really effective against rock, and look at that, boom, like over a third of the way dead. Let's go ahead and do it again. We're just going to spam low kicks until Geodude is no longer with us. Low kick, low kick. And a third low kick. It's doing too many defense curls. A fourth low kick, though, will do it. Let's see if we can get a full level off of that. 183. That's a ton of XP. Look at that. See, that's why. That's why I wanted to do this. A ton of experience. Sandshrew, though. Uh oh. We are not super effective against the Sandshrew, so let's pull Charmander back in. And, uh, make quick, and I mean quick work of this Sandro. He's going to use Defense Girl, but it's not, it's not going to be enough. It's just not. Wow, so this is going to be a really great episode. We're going to catch a, a Pikachu, and we are going to get our first badge. So, awesome, awesome uh, second episode of the series here. Let's do it. Let's do it, Brock. Good old Brock. What a guy. What a what a guy he was, right? Just always just fawning over women. Okay. Uh Mankey, let's go. Maybe we can get another level or two out of Mankey with this battle. Look at that, we're doing more damage than he is. Unless he uses like a rock throw. We got this in the bag. It's in the bag. Yes, this is a huge. This should be huge for us. 220, yep. Boom, look at that full level. Bring out the Onyx. Yep, Leader Brock is about to use Onyx. We're not going to swap, swap out. We're going to going to take Mankey to the grave. Uh, let's do a low kick. We're probably going to only have... Yeah, we didn't even have a chance to do a low kick. That's okay. We got Charmander and his Metal Claw, which is actually super effective against Rock. So, oh wow, but it barely did anything. Oh wow, okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we will not be getting uh, our first badge in this video. Yeah, I mean, Pikachu is going to be useless. So, uh, matter of fact, just for the purpose of this, uh, this battle sequence and making it go a little bit slower, I'm just going to deposit Pikachu here. And we're just gonna we're gonna take our two super effective Pokemon and do our thing. Oh my gosh, we're out of control. We are out of control. Okay. Let's go right back. And should we continue? I feel like I feel like we should continue trying to I mean yeah. Let's just continue with our with our Mankey training. Try and get him to level 10. Oh, we almost are able to do it, this Geodude. 
Let's go. Oh, okay. Mankey is the Mankey is the uh, the goat. Clearly, clearly the goat. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Just two hit Onyx because he's so heavy. Boom. Look at that. Level up to level ten already. Almost a level eleven in one battle. Wow, that's crazy. This Mankey is actually really good. Really, really good. Received the Boulder Badge from Brock. Also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. I forgot about that. You have to like have certain badges to use certain moves. Take this with you. It's going to be Rock Doom. It's a really good TM. Excuse my yawns, but I'm just kind of a little sleepies. So, from here, let's go back to the Pokemon Center. We didn't even need to get rid of our Pikachu for that. Mankey said, I'm going to put the team on my back and just take out Brock myself. Screw it, I'll just do it myself. He just Thanos snapped. Thanos snapped Brock out of existence. No, I don't I don't want to access someone's PC. I wanna go and continue on our journey. Let's go ahead and heal up though. I mean may as well since we're here and we can fast forward so really like the biggest pain of Pokemon was being like so slow. And now C and B, look at that. I'm glad I got up to you, Professor Oak's aide. He is the one that delivers the running shoes, and just like that, for the first time ever, running shoes were introduced. The first time you could have ever ran in a Pokemon game. There's a letter attached. Dear C and B, here's a pair of running shoes. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. How much faster you are with the running shoes. Alright, um, I tell you what, let's just go ahead and take on all of these challengers here because I mean this is just good at battle experience at this point. Oh, speaking of which, speaking of good battle experience. Let's go ahead and do a leer right quick. Let's do like yeah, defense falls. Although, honestly, I think Thundershock is a uh, special, special attack, so we would have to be lowering his special defense for that to do anything. But let's pull out Pikachu here. Gust, please don't be a one-hit. Okay, good. Can we one-hit him is the question. Oh, we just got sand attacked. Oh, no. Are we not going to be able to do anything? I, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything. Uh, uh oh. Are we about to just get knocked out? Oh, we got to paralyze. Alright, you know what? I don't want to risk just getting nothing out of this, so let's bring Charmander back in. Or we're going to split this experience three ways. That's tough. That is tough. We're going to just go ahead and use Ember. Boom. Ah, oh, I didn't see. Oh, another Pidgey. Alright. And just like that, level 14. Can we get the Charmeleon? Can we get the Charmeleon is the question. Oh, we'll see. We'll have to see. We got a weak Pikachu on our hands here. Let's just, you know what, instead of going back, I know it doesn't take long, but let's just use our potion. May as well. Potions don't even, like, really do you all that bit of good uh, later in the game. Actually, they do, like, nothing later in the game, so may as well use them while we got them. Let's go ahead and take on another trainer here, Viridian Forest. Wait, is it the same? Is it the same guy? 
die just a second time. Because that's funny if so. Let's see if we can just Thundershock a couple times. Yeah, we're not going to be able to. Dang it. Okay, well, at least we were able to paralyze it. Let's, uh... Mankey back in. This will be a good training experience for both of them. Could not move because of... Oh, we're going to get a level out of this. Nice. Score. Fainted. Level 11. Good stuff. Mankey learned karate chop. Okay. Okay. About to use Weedle. Let's swap. Let's do our little swapping trick here. Throw out Pikachu. We're going to get another level here out of Pikachu. And throw Mankey back out there. Oh, man. Karate Chop doesn't do much against a bug, apparently. <laughs> Can you imagine Karate Chopping a Caterpie or a, a, a Caterpillar? Like, the caterpillar would get dismantled. Anyways. Alright, that takes care of that. Pikachu goes to level 6 and learn Tail Whip. Big W. And let's do it one more time. So, swap out. We're going to go ahead and just swap in Charmander. These guys are too annoying. Defeated. Boom. Score. Let's go back. Let's go back to Pewter City. Hit the uh, the PC, the Pokemon Center, and then heal up. Boom. Just like that. All right, guys. That's gonna do it for this video. We're gonna keep this outro short, sweet, and to the point. One thing I do wanna say is I will be live streaming tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be on the lookout for that. We'll probably be playing some more Call of Duty just like Tuesday night. So come out and show your support for CNB. Any and all support is always appreciated. I can never say that enough. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And if you're watching this during the day, then have a relaxing rest of the day. And if you're watching this at night, then have a great day.